Hello and welcome to my Get Response review where I'm going to be going over some of the great features that they have, talking about many others, showing you how them work, and of course giving you my opinion when it comes to the pros and cons. And before we begin, I do want to let you know that GetResponse now comes with the ability to use a free account. I will put a link in the description. If you click that, you'll get taken to a unique page that can allow you to get up and running for free so you can test them out for yourself and make your own decision. Now, with that being said, I want to say that I absolutely love GetResponse. I love the fact that they've been around for so long now. They're a veteran when it comes to the email marketing game. They've always been about email marketing, but not too long ago, they have increased their features, their perks, a lot of other great tools that you can utilize aside from email marketing. With that being said, I do love them the most for what they have in terms of email marketing. And if you're looking for mostly email marketing tools, it's going to be a great spot to get started here. So here's an example when it comes to creating autoresponders. Autoresponders are great because they can allow you to build up your email list and then send emails all in the background. So while you're sleeping, while you're doing something else, you obviously put in the emails and you can set when they get sent out. Allow me to show you how it works. So let's just say we have our opening email, which is going to be called Welcome to Marketing Island. It's going to go out exactly when they sign up. We can choose which day it's going to go out. We have our from uh, name and email. We have our subject line. This is just a demo, so it's nothing spiffy, but allow me to show you what it looks like when you're going to be designing your message. Now, GetResponse is going to have plenty of templates for you to utilize when it comes to actually sending out emails as I scroll down here very quickly. But in my honest opinion, I always love using blank templates. I feel like the less pictures there are, the less chances are that it's going to end up in the spam box. So I just go with blank templates. From here, you have the ability to utilize their drag and drop editor here. For the most part, you're probably just going to want to add some. This is where, okay, so this is where your email is going to go. You can continue writing your email. It's pretty standard. It's pretty simple. If you want to add anything else, we have images, we have buttons, videos, spacers, dividers, social, and custom HTML. That part is very easy. It's going to be very easy for you to figure out and utilize. That's also something I want to talk about when it comes to pros. This is not a very challenging software to use, especially when it comes to their email marketing tools. Maybe their automation a little bit more. There might be a very slight learning curve, but when it comes to sending newsletters, creating autoresponders, it's going to be a walk in the park in my opinion. Another great thing when it comes to testing and preview, you can send a test message, you can preview, you can do an inbox preview and something I really like is going to be a spam check. I'm going to do this now. It's probably not going to have anything just because the email is so little, but as it says good to go, there's a little chance your message will land in the spam folder. You can still check the details below to see if there's anything to improve or you can send away. So if you use any like the spam trigger words, it's going to probably let you know stuff like congratulations and you just won and all these like make money claims or maybe like something with fitness or weight loss. These are a lot of words that spammers use that get response can pick up on. So if you use too many of those, or maybe there's something you need to fix, it's going to show it right here. And that's just a little feature I really like when it comes to creating your emails. Either way, let's just say this is going to be our first autoresponder. Now that we have that done, let's click on save and publish. Okay, so that would be our first one. And what I can do is I can show you like this. So this is how autoresponders can work. What you do is the next time you want an email to go out, say every two days, you would go here and add in your next one. Then you want to do it on the fourth day, in the sixth day. And this is something that you can do in the background, say one email a day. And that's kind of how you're going to automate your autoresponders. That's why they're called autoresponders, right? So that's a great way to run your email marketing. When it comes to broadcast, broadcasts are done exactly the same way. So so this is just the email builder where your email would go there. You would run everything the same. We'd click on next. And when you get to the bottom, there's a few options aside from click tracking. It says, when would you like to send it? You can do it immediately. You can schedule it for later. Or if you have an upgraded account, that's a uh, different plan, which I'll get to. You can utilize perfect timing where it sends out based upon when the person is most likely to open your emails, which is really cool. But either way, that would just be the end of it where you click on send message and it takes about a minute for it to go out. It gives you that minute buffer time in case you want to say, oh, I forgot something. You can cancel it, go back and add something in, which is always cool. With that out of mind, that's going to be newsletters, broadcasts, and autoresponders, something you're most likely going to use if you're using GetResponse. Very easy to use and set up which is great. Let's move to another feature. We have our landing pages. So here are many of the templates that come with the ability to create landing pages. Now, like I talked about, GetResponse has always been about email marketing, but not too long ago, I want to say maybe some few years ago, they really started adding more to their platform. Landing pages is going to be one of them, the ability to create some sales funnels and do webinars. But here are some of the templates. Overall, their drag and drop builder is pretty good. I would like it if they had a few more templates. Uh, a lot of them are kind of generic, you know, 
overall, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Some of them are tailored to some niches. As you can see, like business, there's fitness, there's make money online ones. But either way, let me click on a specific one. Let's go with this one right here. Select template. I'm just going to call it an example. And the cool thing is that when you go to edit a template, you can edit your landing page and your thank you page. They have both of them together, which I happen to like. Let's click on next step. And what I really do like about it, it is a true drag and drop editor. So this is going to be a section. Anytime there's a break, you know, this is where that's going to go. And from there, you can pretty much drag and drop anything in there. So allow me to show you what they have. This is going to be a cart. So you can add kind of products in there if you want to upload those. This is going to be all for your text, your pictures, your buttons. This is going to be your sign up forms, whether it's static or pop ups. This is going to be for shapes if you want to add them in. This is this is going to be for webinars if you have the pro account. Obviously, I'm not going to review that since I don't use pro, since I don't need webinars on this. This is going to be for evergreen timers, which is pretty cool. So if you drag this in here, you can change around for a standard timer for a specific date or an evergreen timer that counts down from the moment a visitor reaches your page. This is great for something that's going to expire, for example, like a product launch. Of course, if you didn't want that, you just click on the trash. We have YouTube videos. We're going to have some social shares, PayPal integrations, and of course, custom code for all you custom coders out there. But and as I talked about before, the true drag and dropness of it is great. So a lot of landing page editors really, for example, let's say I'm going to put this right here. If this was here, a lot of times you can maybe only move it right here, or maybe you could only move it here. You're kind of stuck in place where you can move things. But like I said, when this is true drag and drop, not like you'd put it here over the text. I like how you can just take something, put it exactly where you want it, and then move it around and delete it. Same thing goes with this. Say you wanted this, you wanted to delete it, move everything up like this, and you can kind of align it. You see on the left side, there's going to be that green where it kind of matches up. So it's easy to match everything up like that. Here's that section we didn't want. Click on it. Let's click delete and so on and so forth. There's also going to be an ability to edit the thank you page right here. Okay, so that's going to be that as well as checking out the mobile preview and so on and so forth. So that's an example of how the landing page editor works. There's one more thing I want to talk about when it comes to landing pages or very similar to it is going to be lead magnet sales funnels, which is really cool. Not only can you upload your lead magnet if you want right here, but GetResponse actually has them for you. So if you happen to be in kind of the online marketing, content marketing, online business or sales, they have a few for you where you can get up and running very quickly. So how to use digital ads to grow your sales and revenues. So let's click on that and click save. And from here, you would just follow the process when it comes to creating a sign up page, which I just showed you a download page, which is going to be very similar to a thank you page. And of course, creating an email where someone can go in and actually download what they got. It makes it very simple to follow through the steps and create a lead magnet funnel if that's something what you're looking for. So that's another feature that they've added not too long ago, or at least they didn't have when they first got started, like what, two decades or so ago, GetResponse has been around for a very long time. And that's a very good thing. They're veterans when it comes to email marketing. Marketing. They know email marketing and they're great in that aspect. When it comes to pricing, they have also improved as well. In my opinion, not too long ago, they added the ability to have a free account, which I talked about in the beginning. So it's free up to 500 contacts. This is kind of like the freemium model, which is great in my opinion. It allows you to use it, get started with it, build up some subscribers. And if you want to upgrade before those 500 contacts to get some of the great perks like autoresponders or landing pages and so on and so forth, you can do that. So it starts with unlimited newsletters, one landing page, the website builder, you can connect your domain and of course sign up forms and pop ups. And then we move on to the next plan, which is going to be email marketing. That's the one I have. So it's only going to be $19 a month starting with 1000 contacts. But as you can see, you get autoresponders and limited landing pages, website builder, basic segmentation, email scheduling, and so on and so forth. And as you go up, whether you need more contacts or you just want better perks, like this is going to have marketing automation, event based automation, webinars, advanced segmentation, contact scoring and sales funnels. And of course, as you need more contacts, the price would go up from there as well. But all in all, they have great pricing. I love the fact that they also have the free plan now. So kind of wrapping things up and giving you the pros and cons. What I really like about get responses, their ease of use, you're not going to really have that much difficulty going through figuring things out. Yes, it might be a new platform, a new UI, you might not be familiar with some of the buttons and where they are. But overall writing emails, creating autoresponders and landing pages isn't that challenging of a process. And that's really good. 
Next, their email marketing is just great. Like I said, they're veterans. They've been around for a long time. They know what they're doing, and I really love their email marketing. It's also nice that they've added more features, perks, and bells and whistles, as you can see on the screen in front of you. Depending on what plan you want, obviously, you're going to get specific features. But in my opinion, it's at least a great thing that they added that so you can always customize what you want depending on your needs and wants and overall. Another thing is that they are affiliate marketing friendly. In fact, I think they're one of the best autoresponders or just email marketing software tools when it comes to affiliate marketing. They allow it. They've allowed it for a very long time. And if you're an affiliate marketer, GetResponse is an autoresponder that you certainly want to try out. And last but not least, they have fantastic pricing. You're not exactly breaking the bank here, especially when you can see the prices here. And of course, as you go up in context, that really means it's going to allow you to make more money with your list, assuming you're doing things right. You know, you have some promos here and there, maybe sending to a webinar, a mid-ticket item, high-ticket offer, but obviously that's going to be up to you and your marketing. On the other side, there's not really many cons or dislikes. I do feel that they could have some more templates when it comes to their landing pages. They are all kind of basic. I don't mind that. I love simple when it comes to templates, but I have a feeling that a few people might want something a little bit more polished, a little bit more professional. Uh, they have a ton of templates when it comes to sending emails, but me personally, I love leaving a blank as I talked about before. Less pictures equals less chances of ending up in the spam box. But overall, that has been my get response review. I highly recommend them. I think they are a fantastic email marketing platform, and it's even great that they've added more features, perks, and tools when it comes to picking the plan. That's going to be perfect for you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I will leave a link down below where you can actually check them out for free. And of course, if you want to upgrade once you get to 500 contacts or maybe even before, if you want some different features and a different plan, you'll be able to do that as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.